Finally, I wanted to summarise a few sort of typical scenarios um, and discuss the OAuth flows that would be appropriate for each of those. So firstly, we're going to consider a few instances where we, um, we're wanting to support an integration where the user would be um, available at the time of integration to participate and provide potentially their, their authentication and, and approval. So firstly, if we're working with um, an enterprise app, which is authenticating to Salesforce, and that application has a, um, has a web server element that is able to protect a, a client secret um, or, a, um, or a, a signing key. Um, in this case, the, uh, the web server flow or the authorization code with, with secret flow is, is going to be the best choice. So, um, so we can make use of its, the, this app's ability to protect the secret together with a secure back channel that's, um, uh, that provides additional benefits over, over a browser-based interaction for sharing sharing access tokens. Um, this, uh, this makes for the most, uh, the most secure version of OAuth for this context. Um, similarly, if we're working with, um, with an application which is not necessarily owned by, um, by the enterprise, but um, is an application that we, we know can be trusted with a, um, with a, client's, uh, a client secret, um, the nature of OAuth means that we can, um, as long as we've configured the security for the client application effectively, and then we can also trust that this, um, uh, that this, this, this server will be, um, will be authenticating securely. Um, so again, uh, for the same reasons, the authorization code and secret flow is is likely to be the best choice. Um, if we're uh, if we're dealing with an application which has been built um, using the Salesforce mobile SDK, then um, then uh, utilizing the standard methods from the mobile SDK um, is likely to be our, our best option. It's the simplest from a development perspective and allows us to use the um, make use of the, the workarounds that Salesforce have, have implemented to make the implicit grant flow more secure than it otherwise would be. Um, the authorization code with Pixie flow um, could be could be a good option here as well, um, but it is additional custom development um, and potentially introduces the, the opportunity for, um, for things to go wrong if, if that's not implemented in line with best practices. Uh, the authorization code with secret flow um, for this scenario wouldn't be a good choice uh, because we um, a, a, an app built on mobile SDK would be um, typically distributed um, across um, across uh, many devices, and so we can't guarantee that any secret that's um, that, that, that's held in that app uh, would be secured effectively. Um, Next, looking at a, at a distributed application which isn't built around mobile SDK, so this could be a, a mobile app, a um, single page application, so a JavaScript based application potentially, um, or, or a desktop application. Um, so uh, a distributed app that's authenticating to Salesforce. Um, typically, um, here again, the authorization code with secret flow um, wouldn't, wouldn't be suitable um, because we, we would have to distribute that, that, that secret across, across um, many devices um, and there, there could be some risk of that being compromised. Um, in this scenario, um, the authorization code with Pixie flow is, would, be, would be preferable over the implicit grant um, because of the, the additional security benefits of, of this flow. And so this is the really the recommended flow now from the um, uh, from the Internet Engineering Task Force now for this for this context. Um, so those flow, four flows are all relevant to Salesforce acting as the authorization server. If Salesforce is authenticating to another authorization server, then generally the authorization code with secrets uh, web server flow is 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 the the, the optimal choice. So. Salesforce um, is uh, very much capable of, of protecting a secret as long as that's, um, that's configured um, appropriately. Um, so the, the additional security benefits of that flow um, make that the right choice for that scenario. Next, looking at um, scenarios where we don't have the user available to provide authentication or authorization in, in real time. So generally server to server integrations. 
So here, um, if we are um, if we're integrating with Salesforce as, as the client to a to another auth server, and then generally Jot Bearer is, is probably going to be the, the easiest implementation and um, provides a good level of security. Um, so working with um, with e either with uh, um, Apex or, or with JavaScript is quite easy to construct a a job token um, more straightforward than than constructing a, a the equivalent um, SAML XML assertion. Um, if we're uh, if we're implementing an integration the other way around, so Salesforce is acting as the auth server, and there's a client um, authenticating to Salesforce um, or, or uh, retrieving an access token from Salesforce, then it's really um, I'd say mostly down to the technology within that client as to whether the job bearer um, or the sample assertion bearer flows are, are most appropriate. Um, they're both both very secure um, and and share a lot of a lot of um, common uh, common benefits. Um, so, so yeah, depending on the um, uh, the client technology, um, either of those are um, are, are appropriate. Um, the username and password flow. Um, it is really not not a good option for for any of these contexts, and we should really try to avoid using that. So, finally, just to say a big thanks for making it this far. Um, I hope you found it really useful. Um, let me know um, if you've if you've got any specific questions, or um, if there's anything anything around this that that you'd, that you'd like to feedback on. Um, you can check out my website, there's details of all of these flows, um, as well as um, a summary of some of the technical details specific to, to each one. Um, also do, um, do take a look at my, um, my App Exchange app if you're interested, and just, uh, just search Formula Share, um, it's, it's completely free. Um, have a go, try it out. Um, hopefully if you have complex sharing requirements, um, you might find it useful. Um, and uh, you can find me on Twitter if you if you uh, if you're on Twitter. Um, so I'm Cloud Sundial. Uh, say hello. Also wanted to say just um, uh, enormous thanks to Apex Hours and and Amit for um, for uh, for having me. Um, it's uh, yeah, Apex Hours is it's fantastic. There's a lot of really really good content. And do check out. Some of the other videos that they've got there's um, really really good in-depth um, developer content on all sorts of topics uh, you can find them on um, on twitter or on linkedin um, and of course on youtube thanks very much everyone <laughs>